Okay, so here's the uh, uh, day after wrapping the um, wrapping the bow with uh, rawhide, and uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, take the um, take the uh, ace bandage off the limbs and uh, see how the uh, how the rawhide came out. So um, I'll turn the camera off, take off the uh, take off this tape and um, show you what we got. Actually I'm going to go ahead and take this tape off right now. Um, I was just going to do it without the uh, without filming it but since I've got the camera out I'll just go ahead and take this stuff off see how it turns out. Some of the glue is sticking to it, so you gotta kind of rip it off. But it looks like it's uh, it held pretty good. Okay, so here's one limb here you could see. Um, uh, it held on there pretty good. You could see the indentations of the uh, of the um, of the ace bandage. You know, it made some little designs on the top here, but that's okay. Um, what we're gonna do? We're gonna paint the paint the rawhide um, paint a design on here. Uh, after I get this other limb. Uh, uh, the, the tape off of this other limb removed we're going to go in and uh, trim off the uh, excess that's hanging over the edges you can see here on this side um, I don't know if you can see that or not but this rawhide was kind of thin and it didn't quite cover over the edge um, but that's okay too you know it's not that big a deal um, so I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, take the piece off of this side and um, uh, see how the rest of the bow turned out Okay, uh, Cash took a uh, bow craft here. Um, what we were doing uh, yesterday was unwrapping the limbs uh, uh, after the rawhide had dried on the limbs. And I was doing it yesterday and unwrapped the limbs, and then I realized I was late for work, so I just left the other limb <laughs> still wrapped. So we're going to unwrap this limb uh, today and um, see how this turned out. This one got stuck on with the glue.
there's a lot of excess glue on here. Really sticking to this tape. Okay, so there you go. Um, looks like it's uh, holding pretty good. Um, no uh, signs of any delamination or anything like that. It looks like the glue held pretty good. Um, so what I did uh, yesterday after I turned the camera off, I went ahead and trimmed off the excess uh, rawhide uh, from the first limb yesterday and today we're going to trim off uh, the excess of this and basically uh, what you do with that is just get a, a razor blade and um, you know you pick up an end here and uh, you just slide it across the limb and cut off the excess you can see it's a nice clean line there We'll probably clean it up a little bit with a with some sandpaper or or a file here, you know, and just uh, kind of like blend it into the wood there. But basically, all you do is just uh, get a really sharp uh, razor blade and um, uh, trim off the excess uh, uh, rawhide. Um, so that's all that's all you do with that so anyway um, and then the glue that's <coughs> over uh, the, the, the excess glue that's dried onto the side of the limb just you know you can get the scraper or, or a razor blade and some sandpaper and just uh, you know get rid of that and then uh, clean up the bow and then after that after we get everything cleaned up we're gonna uh, recut the knocks because the knocks are all filled with glue and stuff and um, uh, hopefully string this up and uh, shoot it. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so um, I've got the rest of the limb uh, cleaned up. You know, I, I scraped off all the uh, excess glue and uh, cleaned up uh, the edges here. Um, and I also uh, cleaned up uh, the knocks as well. Um, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I had some sinew wrapped around the knock. And what I ended up doing is just cutting that off and cleaning it up a little bit. I may put another, just another layer of sinew here to strengthen up the knock there, but I don't really think it's, it's really needed. But anyway, the, the rawhide looks really good. Um, like I said, I'm going to uh, uh, paint it with some design on here so it'll dress it up even a little bit more. And um, uh, but I'm really uh, I'm really happy about the way it, it turned out. And uh, this uh, seam right here is going to be covered up by uh, by some uh, the handle uh, covering that I'm going to put on here, and uh, you won't be able to see that at all. So uh, here you go. Here's the rawhide back bow. Uh, it's the hickory short bow. Um, it's got sinew uh, underneath the rawhide, and the rawhide is covering the back to help uh, waterproof and protect the sinew. So there you go, that's how I rawhide back a bow. Thanks.